When I was two, uh, my parents had to move from Congo because there was war going on there. So we moved from Congo to Tanzania. We were in Tanzania for 11 years. When I was 13, that's when we moved to, to the U.S. There wasn't a lot of soccer going on outside. Our neighbors were, I mean, we, we, we didn't speak the same language, so it was hard to communicate with the neighbors. Before I started, I started working here, I couldn't work with other people. I don't like, I don't like other people getting involved with my stuff. Like, I just want to do everything by myself. I just, I don't want anybody. You can't do anything by yourself. You gotta have somebody. I learned about Harambe through my cousin Corvina. She used to work here, and I always used to see her. And I'm like, mm, what are you doing? So I kind of wanted to make money. <laughs> when I first started Harambe, I was like, I do not know what I sell myself up for. I'm like, I cannot do this stuff. I'm too little. I can't live. I was just shocked. I've noticed since I've been working here that I, I do got a really, really bad temper. And I'm kind of like, I am improving. So that's good. Um, I'm learning how to like accept and take criticism and try to work it out, you know, instead of just being mad about it and thinking people just down talking me. It was kind of rough living over here because there's a lot of violence, people just acting crazy. Uh, I think Harambe is a helpful program because it could um, help teenagers stay out of trouble and help others. I like all the staff, like they treat us like family. They want us to be safe and do the right thing and follow the right path instead of just, they don't act like they just don't care about us. They just want us to come help them do the work and then leave, but they involved in our life. If I wasn't doing Harambe, I would be at home getting fat. Tuck point and it's like, okay, this is a brick and this is a brick. Between bricks is mortar. We take the mortar out and we replace it with new mortar so that the brick and the house can stay formed and shaped better. Because if you walk, like, if you go past a house, like, it's been abandoned, sometimes you might see a dent in the wall. And since people live in their houses, but they can't afford to pay, like, the professionals to do it, we do it for them so they can live in their house longer. And when Harambe come and they help them and we work on their houses for this amount of weeks, and work on their house, get their house done, and do it the way it's supposed to be done, then it makes them feel like we care about them. Six years ago, you probably wouldn't even want to be around Mark because if you say one thing bad to me, I'll flip out. If I wasn't working at Harambe, I probably would be in the streets doing I don't know what, but this is good for me. I grind, I tuck point, I grout. I lead. I'm a leader in this group. The best thing about working here is you get treated with respect. Like most jobs, like you don't even know people for real, but we know each other. We listen to each other and talk with each other, so we know each other real good and we real close. My name is Mr. Carden. My name is Tonisha Horry. My name is Makisha. My name is Shaquille Conley. My name is Mark Allen and I work for Harambe Youth Training.